Hi everybody, welcome back to a brand new series on my channel. My name is Dilksy of course, and this is going to be Smite Ranked. Smite, oh what's this, comms or against the top way? I don't know whether that's a, I, I, I don't know what that was. Um, yeah, so basically I'm going to be playing Smite. It's going to be having great fun and basically the reason why I've started this series is because I'm, I play Smite competitively now. And basically, I'm going to be trying my hardest to make it into a career and professionalize it and you know, make money from it all. So I kind of thought, why not make my YouTube about it as well? So this is going to be the main content that I released on my channel. This is the first episode of this. So basically, I'm playing Smite Ranked. Uh, basically, what this is, is it's not just casual play. It's basically you have picks, bands, and it's more serious in a way. So like the players you're playing with actually take it more seriously. Whereas in casual, they could do some random stuff and... Uh, and all that stuff. So, um, just say okay, so he wants me to to sign this. So, if you've never seen Smite before, this is uh, this is probably not the content that you want to be watching, mainly because um, I I would recommend you know watching some basic guides or something like that because I'm going pretty like pretty detailed into everything. So I'm gonna try and say um, as okay. much as possible. Obviously, this is only the first episode, so I'm probably not gonna be that good at it. But um, yeah, we'll see how we go. So basically, I'm just gonna start off with getting the mid camps. This is a normal start for a uh, for mid and uh, solo, uh, especially on this side. And uh, on the other side, you have uh, mid and the ADC roll. So I'm going up against a hell here. This is actually gonna be a, a bit of an interesting one actually because um, I haven't actually gone up against a hell mid for quite a while, just because it's not really a, a normal pick. But um, I can see this matchup working quite well in my favor, mainly because hell is she is strong. But she's not like too strong in a way, um, and uh, she's, she's let me do a lot of damage to her. So that's a good job. But there on the solo lane, we got an early pick off on the Thanatos. That's always good. Oh, I just missed him there. So he's just gonna heal the wave now, I imagine. Oh no, he's completely out of mana. Actually, that's that's terrible for an for a hell. So um, has he got any? He's got one mana potion. And um, that's about it, so uh, we'll see how this goes actually. Do some damage on him. Oh, he's almost dead actually. That was, that was pretty good damage there. Um, actually, oh wow, force him actually back. That's really good. So I'm actually just going to do this wave as quickly as possible. And Bounce um, I imagine will be heading yeah, to his left side there. So I'm going to go sneak over here and see if I can uh, steal something. Because he's, he's already died once and he's, I know he hasn't got red pots, so... I'm going to see if I can actually kill him again. Oh, I just didn't get him. That's unfortunate. But I forced him back again. You know, almost killed him. So that was a really solid damage again. And just keeping that early pressure on that Thanatos. Because he got, because he almost died early on. Uh, I want to keep up that pressure. Oh, that was a bad position to buy me on that one. But um, not too bad. I might, she might force him back here actually. And we'll see how we go. I hit five, that's okay. I've got a minute till the uh, mid camp spawn. So actually I could go back here. And I've got enough. Um Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, let's go back here. I think that's a good option. And um, we're gonna get an early uh we're gonna get beads actually to uh, deal with the Thanatos silence. And uh, just got the warden two wards and the multi potion. This is just a general thing that I've got into in competitive style because Wards give vision. Vision means that you can see where gangs are coming from in mid lane and generally help you survive. Oh, middle uh, missing, missing middle. Careful, careful right. right. So I imagine that's the way he's gone. So I don't want him to die. Cancel that. So yeah, basically in mid, it's, it is a bit of a farm fest to start off with. I mean, you just kind of do your thing. Um, Be quiet. I'm sorry if I randomly stop talking. It's just because I'm kind of constrained. And again, this is the first episode, so give me a chance, guys. You know, it's going to be... Uh, Chuck's looking for a gank here. So I don't want to lose these creeps, really. I want to keep as much arm as possible. Uh, oh. Okay, I zoned out the, uh, the Thanatos there, which was good. Should get a kill on this uh, hell. That was a nice bit there. And uh, just gonna drop down a ward here, and uh, hopefully head to the right ones. I run out of mana again, which is unfortunate. Oh, that was really bad by the Thanatos. What was he thinking? That was really bad. 
I don't understand why he went that way. That was a, a completely bad move by that bounce off there. I mean, I was a bit skeptical about about this game, mainly because um, they had three legendaries, which basically, uh, what I mean by this is they uh, had the legendary rank on uh, three of the gods, so the, uh, the Aphrodite, the Hell, and the Thanatos were all legendary ranks, that means that they played an awful lot of them. And um, I was a bit skeptical, to be honest, I was worried a bit about the Hell, but um, the Isis matchup really worked out in my favour, actually, today. Uh, Hell's going to try and do some damage here. Going to take quite a bit of damage. And just going to poke it down a bit. Uh, I'm going to actually just won, won the won the next wave and then head back to base. Don't know why she's trying to do as much damage to me as possible. Because I'm just going to do that and then head back to base. Oh. I'm fine. Right right going to say be back to the jungle because I know he was going to come and gank mid. Um, okay. What's he gone? He's got. He's gone into boots, so he's not going to go anything uh, crazy early on. Again, just going to rank up the beads. Just because, like, like, if you um, if you pop them and then uh, you have like the longest cooldown on them, and then there's no point in upgrading them while it's got the long cooldown. So if they're off cooldown and you have the spare money, it's always best to upgrade them because you have the uh, early on, um, uh, like the shorter cooldown on that. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, actually, wow, she's heading back to base. That's really bad on her part. You really shouldn't be head heading back to base. Because she had full mana and there was no point. She's just going to lose XP now. Uh, Thanatos are looking to still in still try and do some aggressive uh, jungling here. I don't understand why. I mean, he's quite far behind. He's only two and he hasn't even got full boots yet. So uh, if he comes into lane, we should be able to kill him actually. Can this way, mate. He's going to go the other way. So uh, what's the time? 5 30. I don't think he's going to go for his jungle. But. Um, So that's the unfortunate side of this. Uh, Enemy nice job. Come on, come on, oh, come on, Jack. You could have landed a one there and killed him, bro. Yeah, unfortunately, Hell is just gonna heal a lot of the damage that I'm doing to it, but I'm still doing a lot of damage. I'm still poking away at her and uh, again. again. I'm gonna die this. Oh no, come on. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that was unfortunate. I, I kind of panicked there. I kind of saw the fans of Salty and didn't really know what to do in that situation. But, um, I suppose I could have beads in it. I just didn't have the beads 3, so I couldn't get my 2 off. And he silenced me as well, so um, I kind of finished him off. We've got Thanatos kind of back into the game, but we're still really quite ahead. We've got six kills to one. Uh, Ra's doing really well against the Aphrodite, which is really nice, because Aphrodite can be really, really annoying. Has he got his ulti? No, he hasn't. Um, so yeah, like, like I say right now, the beads, are, the beads corner is 100 seconds. So there's no really point in me wasting 300 gold on it right now. I just um, will wait until my next back and then upgrade it then. And, uh, well, actually, I might use the 300 gold for something better at that situation. So, it's always better to not just buy beads when you've got, like, 100, 100 seconds on it. Because um, it's just kind of a waste of the gold at the time, really. Especially in the early games, you want to have, you know, the best possible um, usage of your money. Okay, so Chot just did the mid-counts. Mid-counts are always spawning every three minutes, guys. So, uh, you want to keep an eye on them. It's also good to remember that every four minutes... Um, the uh, speed, like depending on the side that you're on, the uh, the speed spawns. So what is this hell doing? Oh, oh, okay, so what's hell gone? She's gone into breastplate. Okay, so she's going full CDR build. Uh, interesting, interesting choice, really. Then retreat. I kind of need help from Chuck here. I mean, she's, this is the, these are the levels where Hell is most dangerous. She's got a full max of a three and one. So even though she hasn't gotten pure damage, she's um, still hitting really hard. So, uh, like I said to the rather stuff. Oh, that's not good. Tail died by Thanatos there. Chuck should hopefully kill this up pretty easily. Uh, that should be a nice kill on left as well. Nice, good job there. Chuck didn't get the kill on Thanatos, unfortunately. But um, he's got to be careful of that Hell damage. He's really... Underestimating the hell damage there. Oh, just not enough. Okay. So 
so I'm gonna... Actually, now this is a good time to get the B3. Like I say, the cooldown was off, so, um, uh, you know, it's a good time to get it. So what B3 basically means that it's got the lowest cooldown. It gives you, uh, it gets you out of any CC. So, like, the Thanatos Ulti, the Aphrodite 1, the Apollo Mares, the, the Athena uh, Taunt, which is the major thing why I got it. And um, it also, at rank 3, reduces your, your, your current cooldown by 5 seconds. So it basically allows you to be, it's a very defensive item, but then it can also be used aggressively as well. So I'm um, just going to in the middle, middle here. And I already put down a ward on right, so Enemy. it looks like they're going on him in, in right lane. So uh, Chuck should be doing okay. He's level 10 against a level 8 Thanatos. So Chuck is generally quite good at these levels. He's got his damage from his 1, 2, and um, he does quite a lot of damage with his ultimate as well. So... Oh, that's not good. I'm trying to do I'm trying to kill the hell as much as possible, but that was really unfortunate. Oh, that's not good. Um, in that situation, really, really difficult to sort. You died as well. So what? Your middle tower is under an enemy has been slain. So basically then it was hell diving for me. Uh Athena I couldn't really get away, so I just tried to do as much damage as possible, pop my ult. I got 3v1. That's why. Don't know what he's trying to say here. Like, if he doesn't want me to die, you know, I'm going up against a, uh, I'm going up against a hell, I'm going up against Athena and Apollo altered. And like, did they, did he, did they say that the ultimate was incoming? Yeah, okay, they did say enemy was incoming middle. So it, it was my fault again. So you know, it, I'm kind of struggling here against a hell. I mean, he's doing a lot of damage right now, but he, he hasn't gone damage build, which is really frustrating. Uh, so now I'm actually going to build into Void Stone next, that's going to be my next item, just to deal with the Athena, the um, Aphrodite and the Hell. Um, the Chuck is doing okay I suppose, he's 3 and 1, but um, Take middle lane. don't think there's any point in ganking middle lane right now, he's got red buff, he's probably going to be able to be kill all three, that's stupid ones. Because Hell is quite powerful, people, are, people really underestimate Hell, and that is one of the big things that Hell... It, well, that, that's the reason why one of he that's the reason why hell is so good. Enemy missing metal, right. it, it's, it's the main fact okay. that um, she just does so much damage that just no one even thinks about because you never see a hell played really well. Well, you you do, but not not Be to careful. extend like in uh, in ranked and stuff. Be quiet. Just gonna, basically, just trying to not let her do the uh, max damage on me, which is a killing spree. So she's gonna go over there really okay. quickly. Careful, right. Hell's going in by herself in this one, so we might be able to, uh, yeah, they're going to do a lot of damage to the Ymir. They're probably going to be, they're probably going to kill the Ymir actually here. I'm here with you. Retreat. You on this if you want. Okay, so we got a kill on the Apollo there. That was worth it. Hell's still trying to go in on this Ymir here. Okay, so they're going to do a lot of damage to me here. I'm trying to just... Retreat. Trying to do much damage to keep them away, but, you know, also, you know, just... Trying to do my bit, really. I mean, I got the kill on the Apollo, which was good. Um, just Hell right now is just really doing a lot of damage, so... Uh, looks like Chuck is trying to go on this Athena for no reason, really. Um... Be right back. So back here. Start work on my um on my voice then actually. I like the new get, look. Again, wards wards the key. Uh, in terms of the second active right now, I can't actually decide what I want to go. I mean, I could go Aegis, but again, that's kind of going like two defensives. I know beads can be aggressive, but um it's always better to you know maybe go like a sprint to get away from the Apollo, maybe a sprint to get away from the Phantos as well. But, uh, maybe a, maybe a combo link might help to. Uh, Get out of the uh, the sticky situations. I'm on it. Silence. I hear an Aphrodite and she's just doing so, so much damage. Like that is just ridiculous. Crazy. 
again, we don't have the Divine Ruin. We don't have a Weakling Curse, which we need to get. Ra's gone straight into boots again. No wards, no words. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm just kind of building Voidstone just to kind of deal with the amount of damage that uh, Hell's doing. She's gone pure, like, she hasn't gone pen or anything like that, so this actual protection will really help. Yeah, she's literally got no, no protect, like, no um, pen kind of thing, so my Voidstone will really help in terms of her damage. But they're just diving the Ra right now, the diving thing. We have lost. No, we have an ally has you been rock, slain. You rock, you rock. I don't understand like this team. They, they seem to be um, quite pessimistic, really. Stay back. Your middle tower is under attack. I mean, we can attack. we can kill them all, really. Here, it's just like cleaning up. Oh, Aphrodite is so annoying in these fights. Ah, okay. I don't understand how we didn't clean that up, to be honest. That was just terrible. This is only my second game of the day, so I am not doing the best, but... Rampage. There's a lot of miscommunication right now. Uh, obviously, I'm 3-5, and five, which isn't that good, but Santa somehow come back into this game, even though he's 0-2 at the start. Um... He did dive me at level 8. Right that wasn't that good. I mean, like, there's not much I can do in those situations. I mean, the Apollo again, the hell damage is just insane right now. She's level 15. But I'm level 14, so that's not a big deal. Um, I don't think they got Gulfy off that. I don't think so, anyway. Um, Athena's gone into beads. So she hasn't got hook 3. And she, does, and she won't have Creeping Curse, so that's good against the Ra. Um, Enemy missing. So that's good at overall in the in the in, in the overall team fights at the end of it. Um, Enemy middle. Middle. So I'm not really going the full okay. glass cannon build that I normally go on Isis. I normally go like a rod into Bancross into Polynomicon kind of thing. I'm kind of going more defensive in this one mainly because of the hell. She does a lot of damage and unfortunately um, you need to kind of build defensive into El. She will just Enemy burst you down kind of thing. So Sansa is actually level 15 now, so that's kind of scary. He's going to do a lot of damage. So I'd say retreat. I'm going to get mid tower off this. So it's kind of worth. As long as they don't all die. I said. So Thanta's coming in from behind. Ymir's going so deep. I'm going to come around the back and hopefully kill them all. That's the plan here. So here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, that went well. That went uh, perfect, actually. That's exactly what I wanted. Um, I don't know where hell went. Hell, hell went somewhere, but I didn't see where. So, we're actually going to get Gorfi over this. Uh, don't understand why we're doing this. I really can't. Again, me and Chuck are disagreeing on in various ways in this game. Um, yeah, there's, there's not much we can do about that. I'm gonna pop my three on the actual golf to do to reduce his magical protections because some people don't actually believe that that works. Uh, can we go on this hell? No. Oh, that's Aphrodite yeah, actually. Never mind. It is impossible to kill Aphrodite. So we're gonna get a uh, mid camps as well. We got mid tower, which was nice, and I should be able to back and get a voice stone. And then I'm actually gonna go into divine ruin next. Uh, yeah, divine ruin. Kind of asking here because I don't want to. I don't want to build into divine ruin unless I absolutely have to. Okay. So I'm gonna get divine ruin here. Um, I could almost buy it straight off the bat. That was it's really cheap item too. So. So yeah, Divine Ruin is basically a uh, healing reduction item. It's going to help us kill the hell. And the Voice Stone is going to help me survive against it. Uh, I lost. Red, didn't, Red unfortunately went down. Uh, I don't yet have Divine Ruin, so we don't really want to be fighting yet. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to be doing damage damage in the team fight. Oh, Aphrodite back. being annoying. But yeah, Aphrodite and hell, they just... Right. Retreat, 
On my way. I'll gank middle lane. I don't understand why the smith going so deep. Silence on the way, just trying to peel them off. Just try to heal up our teammates there more than just uh, doing damage. That's kind of my role right now. Oh, that was a bad move by hell. I don't understand why he did that. But uh, yeah, we now we can now win this fight quite easily. Again, try and do as much damage as possible. Trying to go on the Thanatos more than anyone. Incoming ultimate by Apollo there. Go on Apollo next. Uh, the bar heals down, so I'm going to step in that just to make sure. Uh, if we can keep on going on this, we can keep on going. We can keep on going. Amanda Long is still on the scene of that. The tower is still on me for some reason. I'm just going to step into this. They're still diving, so I'm going to go with the team here. Nice, good job. Again, we didn't have divine room for that fight, so that, that team fight will go a whole lot smoother when we... Oh, GG. Solid game there, guys. That, that was a quite a quick game. Um, obviously, I was going to go into divine room to deal with the hell and the uh, Aphrodite healing. Um, Chuck could have gone into weakening, which would have saved me having to go that, which means I could have gone more glass cannon. But again, in those fights, I wasn't being the whole glass cannon that I was going to be. Um, it actually went really well. That was a really fun game. Hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed it. And I will be back uh, tomorrow with another video on this, uh, hopefully. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Okay,